up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video what's up scorpios i hope y'all looking good feeling good and motherfucking smelling good all right so we're gonna start the reading off with a self check-in sometimes i do it sometimes i don't but today i am all right so let's see what's going on for my scorpios right out the gate okay y'all need to clean y'all space all right so y'all house is a little dirty organized okay or it could just be freshly clean and you just lit a candle either way it's time to make your space um more creative more you okay so you need to you know throw some shit away add some shit all right the quality of your life has more to do with what you remove from your life than what you add to it give yourself a gift of space okay so a lot of you guys need to be cleaning some shit out okay y'all need to be throwing some shit out uh adding some stuff and I, this has been happening to me because i got some shoes right there in the garage and i'm like oh i need to go drop that stuff off at the school okay all right so some of you guys need to do that and it'll bring some money towards you so right now during this season the universe is trying to bring you more but in order for you to do that you have to let go of the old okay throw away old clothes old shit old pots old pants get some new shit okay all right some of y'all like i ain't got no money to throw it away but you got to throw the old shit away so you can make new space for the new ones they're gonna give you something okay so you can get some new shit okay now like i ain't got no money shit that's my old shit okay but if you got some old worn down shoes all that stuff is stagnant energy old shoes you don't wear you gotta throw that stuff away you know ease okay it says today i allow life to be easy in reverse okay so somebody's gonna be coming into your space and bringing some chaos god damn scorpio all right so somebody is coming into your space and they coming in with some bullshit okay this is somebody that you love as well okay so somebody that you love is coming into your space today and they're gonna come to you with some bullshit this could dim your light make you feel some type of way you could be like bitch don't call my house this early in the morning with this kind of dumb ass bullshit and it's because this person feel very low they feel like they light don't don't shine as bright as yours does okay and with this shiny here in reverse, this person feel like they always overlooked and don't nobody like them. You know what I'm saying? And that's the inside job, okay? With the third, uh, the authenticity, okay? If you're not authentic, that could be why, okay? You know, you stand out from the crowd, Scorpio, because you do your own thing. Everybody walking there, well, you like, fuck this shit, bitch. I'm going to go the other way, okay? And ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? All right? So somebody really clings to you because they feel like you shine really bright and you just say how you feel, okay and they like that but they also always playing a victim so whoever this is they could wear like very extravagant earrings or something like that okay or this could be you either way but somebody just feel like you shine really bright and everybody really sees you and nobody really sees them but that's how you feel about your fucking self you know don't let nobody make you feel like you know you doing the most when you really not doing shit all you doing is just waking up every day and washing your motherfucking face I swear to God, <laughs> this is crazy, y'all. Okay, so whoever this is, they play the victim. They come to you so they can say sad stories just so that you can build them up and make them feel good about themselves. You could be telling this person, stop calling me in the morning. Stop calling me in the morning. Okay, we got two things that then popped out. Let's see what's going on. So Scorpio, two people are thinking about you at this time. Let me tell you their characteristics and traits. Whoever this is, they a neat freak. So whoever this is, they cleaning, they mopping, they, they you know, they doing it all, okay? They thinking about you, all right? They thinking about how you're so authentic and that, you know, they hated that you shine. So whoever this is, they low-key hate on you. They could love organization. Like everything in their office got to be nice and tidy and clean or everything on their desk got to be lined up and perfect. This person don't like sticky shit, all right? So whoever is thinking about you right now, this is a neat freak this is somebody who's clean this is also somebody who could put their hair in a ponytail you are okay mr janitor okay let me stop but for real whoever this is they could put their hair in a ponytail you could put your hair in a ponytail all right but whoever this is um they love they house to be clean you know and this person could love febreze as well now i do want to talk to y'all about febreze febreze is very poisonous and you should not be spraying it in your home and if you do get candles you need to get soy candles okay we have the chess player professional mental track oh okay all right so you also got a motherfucker who is has they got them phd and fucking mental disruption all right so really what this is is this person is a master manipulator and um you know they thinking about you too so you got somebody who always playing chess you know they always playing hella fucking mind games they be there they be go you be like green light red light you be like fuck you bitch i'm grown I ain't playing red green light with your bitch ass okay so whoever this is they be hot they be cold they thinking about you too so you got a neat freak thinking about you and somebody who's just a master manipulator bro all the time like all the time this person just using their mind okay they, that probably just got too much for you scorpion you probably just ghosted this motherfucker 
Bye, bitch. <laughs> okay. And sometimes you'll do that. If it, if it requires too much, you know, mental and it's just not easy. Like when you first meet somebody, Scorpio, these are, these are good signs. It should be easy. Y'all should be just, it should be like a movie. You know, y'all remember, y'all used to watch um Grease. You know, when he was, dun, 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 dun. You know what I'm saying? They be out there and shit like, hell, y'all going to the fair with my boo. That's how it should be. In the beginning of a relationship, it should be light. It should be cool. Y'all should be talking to, everybody love that time. If you first meet somebody, it's all jaggedy. It's disruptive. This nigga always pulling out his dick. This girl always asking you where your wallet at. You like, whoa, bro, I don't even know you, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, whoa, okay? These dudes be so quick to pull their pants down. I be like, this is disgusting. This is crazy, okay? But they do, you know what I'm saying? They need to offer them a little bit that they have down there, okay? Because they don't have, they don't feel like they got no mind to offer you, okay? And these girls be too. They be like, you know, suck it, do it, whatever I got to do because I got to get this bill paid. It's like, damn, do you even want to know my name? I don't think she do. She wants to know how it's spelled on the card and what's the three in the back. <laughs> okay. What's the three in the back? So it's a lot going on here, Scorpio. So, you know, you want to be with somebody who's authentic and you want to, you, some of you Scorpios, and I had to get checked with this too. Be with who makes you happy because that's all that matters. If this girl don't make you happy because she keeps asking you about where your card at or can she get something off your card or can you cash up her, you need to leave her alone. It don't matter that she cute. She don't like you. You can't afford her. She wants somebody that's going to cash up her, okay? So, you know, be where you're happy, all right? But you do have two people thinking about you and they hate that you shine so bright. They hate that you could just move on and get opportunities. That's what this pe these two people saying, all right? They hate that you authentic and you don't follow the crowd because it's hard to just overlook you because you do stand out. Look how gorgeous this fucking girl is. She's fucking flawless. They hate the fact that you can easily just love multiple people or you easily just can move on, all right? They hate the fact that they can't be in your space no more. Whoever this is, they mad that you they not in your space. That's really what this is about. They mad that they can't connect to you anymore. It says your loved ones are safe, okay? So if you're thinking that this person, this person could be a cancer, but if you're thinking this person could be attacking you or they're going to come after you or something like that, just know that you're safe and you're being protected, okay? That's why your angels and guys made something come down here because you you were safe you were protected they needed this to fall luck is not on this person's side so if this person is talking shit about you because you done stood up for yourself luck ain't on their side stuff could not be going right for them okay um it says take time to breathe out but it's all because they don't see things from another perspective so somebody just feels like you rejected them and they don't give a fuck about you they could be talking shit about you talking about you authentic but you ain't really all that your ass don't really shine like that you ain't really all that cute it's crazy how a nigga will talk some shit about your ass once you stand up to them okay you can't just be forcing your private parts on people y'all okay whoever this neat freak is and mental trainer like come on you ain't nobody's human atm people crazy and then when you don't want to comply you a bitch you a fuck nigga you a fuck boy wow okay is that really how you feel <laughs> you know <laughs> scorpio <laughs> you like wow well, where did these emotions come from <laughs> okay scorpio let's see what's going on all right we're gonna see what's going on with your family all right some of y'all could be planning a family reunion you could be like man i don't want to go to this family reunion you better go out there and hang out with your friends okay some of y'all mad because y'all cousins throw y'all girl all right but that's fucked up but that's some fucked up shit you need to be careful with that family members should not be doing that okay uh, some of y'all, y'all, whoever y'all was talking to, whether this be a woman or a male, they got some real bad advice from their friends, but their friends don't really like them. They hate that they make a lot of money. You know, they hate that they always look well put together. And you could have been like a baddie or you could have been fine as fuck. They was like, oh yeah, we got to sabotage this shit because this nigga don't know what to do with it. Man, I'm telling you, two weeks after you and this person officially stopped talking, they friend finna slide in your DM like, what's up? What's up? This shit gonna be fucked up, but it's real what's going on with your family all right so your family could just be out here in the community that they could be doing their own thing all right this also could just be graduation parties everybody about to come together for some kind of graduation situation all right yeah all right and you feel like this shit is prison okay you like man i don't want to be around my cousins right now i don't want to see all these people but you got to go to this thing you know what i'm saying this could be a graduation this could be a birthday celebration whatever this is everybody's gonna be there okay and you could be feeling like i don't really want to be around my cousins right now people just be so fake okay 
Ugh, we got the privileged lady in reverse. So somebody is really in their head about you. They really went with whatever the community was saying, basically saying like they can't be with you. They can't, you know, supply you with the lifestyle that you deserve. This person has been in jail before. Maybe you didn't know that, but this person, maybe some of like 40% of y'all, this person has never been locked up, but they in their mind about you because they just felt like you was not... Even though you was privileged, even if you was a dude, you look like you well got your shit together, all your shit is perfect. It was something about you that was hella humbling. Something about you that was hella cool. With this authentic, like, you just was chill. You just had access to a lot of nice shit. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that's just because you're good. You had a good jug plug. You know, you set your shit up real good, so it looked nice. But somebody's in their mind about you because with this mice, somebody brought a lot of secrets or some shit. And this could have been drama. This could have been gossip that the community brought to this person because they didn't want them to be with this privileged person. Like somebody just didn't want you to have it all. They didn't want you to have no badass wife, no, no, no fine ass husband. They didn't want you to have that. They want you to have some gargoyle looking bitch. <laughs> okay. That you don't even want to fuck. You know what I'm saying? But you trying to make things right. People don't, sometimes people don't want you to have the best. Me, I want the best nigga. Okay. I want the best car. I want the best lifestyle. I want to try to go to the best school. Okay. I feel like she go to one of the best schools right now. It's not the best, but we can get her in private school if that's what she want to do. You know what I'm saying? But you should want the best, Scorpio, okay? Whoever this is, they let their whole community, their family talk them out of the privileged lady. Told them to go over there and pick somebody who wasn't even privileged. Now, with privileged lady in reverse, this mean this person may go out to society and act as if they are, you know, good. They look well put together on the outside, but this person gossip, they talk shit, you know, they be on the phone. You And you know this person got a gossiping spirit. You know this person be causing all these problems, okay? Somebody think about you all the time, Scorpio. It's rough. They wish they could have their thoughts back. Somebody wish they could have gave you a gift or just treated you better. Now you don't block this person message of concern. They can't communicate with you. Somebody feel like they broke. They feel they feel fucked up. Okay? And they feel like even though they in poverty, they feel like you over here in good health and shit. Somebody is plotting to steal from you or you got a thief in your energy, Scorpio. So be very careful, okay? So you got somebody that could be thieving or trying to plot on you or steal from you in, in your family, okay? All right? So be very careful. This this could happen when you're in good spirits. So be mindful of how you act and what you're doing, okay? You also got somebody who feels like you're winning right now, but they losing, Okay? Their money so tight, but they don't really try to tell you about it. They don't let you know that they money tight. They try to act like it's not. With message of concern, they try to act like, you know, y'all just both busting down the same bills, you know. Somebody is thinking about giving you a gift, and somebody thinks about you a lot, okay? You stay on this person's mind, but this also means that they're dreaming about you. So there is a man that is dreaming about you, okay? And they want to be with this privileged lady, but they are concerned about what the community is going to say, and they're in their mind about it, okay? So somebody just really wants you to be their number one, but they could be very concerned with, you know, what their family got to say, what the community has to say, but they like, damn, you a good option, okay? So somebody just feel like you're a really good option, and they want to take it. But at the same time, it comes with so many blurred lines. So somebody's just like, I don't know, you know. But somebody really wants something. This all in their thoughts. I love y'all. See y'all later. Bye. Scorpios is really private, but will sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars. They stay determined, then don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fake shit. They don't really like people switching up, and they can be kinda controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit If you date in the Scorpio and they like you They will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen no, you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint man you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you know